Let's try another interesting area problem involving subtracting. Let's find the shaded area, this little pinkish orangey color. And this is a little bit different because we don't seem to have enough information. Now, actually we do. This, these here are circles and what we have is the radius. So double the radius would be the diameter. So what we have here is this is 2x and going across more would be 4x. So this total distance here would be 4x. And then this radius here is 2x and then another radius would be 4x. So this total diameter here is 4x. 4x plus 4x would make this rectangle have a width of 8x. 4 plus 4 is 8. Similarly, we have this uh, radius going up and down as 2x. And then if we add another 2x, we got a total of 4x. So this height here is going to be from here to here is going to be 4x. So what we can say is the area of the shaded is equal to the area of the rectangle, the large rectangle, minus two times the area of a circle. There's two circles. So the area of the rectangle is equal to 8x times 4x, that's the length and the width, minus 2 times area of a circle. Recall the formula pi r squared. So 8 times 4 is 32. x times x is x squared minus 2 pi. And what is our r value? The radius here happens to be 2x. So what we have here is 32x squared minus 2 pi times this result here. Now as you're saying 2x times 2x, which is what 2x squared is, remember that we also need to square the number itself, this coefficient. 2 times 2 is 4, x times x is x squared. So what we have here is 32x squared minus 2 times 4 is 8 pi x squared. And this is our final answer. If you really want, we would be able to compute the numer numerical equivalent of this equivalent to C of this answer, assuming that we have what x is, since pi is a number, but we don't have x. So in this case, we're just going to leave this answer in this format. So remember to look at a diagram carefully, even though it may seem like we don't have enough information. Whenever you see circles, look at the radius and play around with this dial. Spin it around and see what other information you can generate. And when using algebra to simplify the answer, just be careful about exponent laws. When you have this bracket around this here, you also need to spread that love past this exponent to the coefficient as well.